Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at an iPhone that has an issue with the LiDAR sensor. And we're going to see how we can fix it. Let's get started. Today we're going to be looking at iPhone 13 Pro Max with missing rangefinder, the LiDAR function. When we go into the measurements, when we go into the rangefinder app, we open the rangefinder app and we find that it's having an issue. Let's go ahead and disassemble the phone and remove the camera. Here on the back is where the LiDAR sensor is, if you don't know already and it is paired to the phone. So we're gonna to have to perform a few different types of things to be able to get it to work properly. First, we'll remove the shield for the rear camera, disconnect the display, disconnect the camera so that we can remove the shield that covers up the LiDAR sensor and remove it. Here's what it looks like up close. Let's reconnect the display and battery and connect it to a computer. We'll log into our GCID repair assistant tool and we'll go over to read the phone. As you can see here, we've got our 13 Pro Max pulled up. We're gonna click on flash and unbind. We're going to find our pre-downloaded version of the iOS through 3Utools. And we're going to import that firmware. And this may take some time, but we are gonna go through the process of installing it. After we update, the phone will still be in recovery mode, so we need to perform another flash using 3U tools. Now we just need to use our GCID V1SE programming box. This is the Wi-Fi version. We'll plug it into the computer. Now let's go and connect it to Wi Fi. We'll go into the settings, go to Wi Fi settings and we'll connect to our Wi-Fi. During the flashing process, GCID backs up the original data for the LiDAR sensor to the cloud so that we can access it later. We'll go ahead and plug in a USB to the V1SE and plug it into the phone and we'll trust it. And this will automatically allow us to pull the data so that it can pair it with our uh, cloud backup. We'll click restore so that we can see the data inside the box. You can see there's two options here. We need to select the correct one. For this, we do need the JCID LiDAR sensor, a new one. You can find it on mobilecentrics.com. We'll install it and click restore. You need to make sure we select the correct one. It'll tell you if it's not working. Once we have the correct one selected, it'll say normal. So we'll remove the LiDAR sensor. 
and now we can install it inside the phone. So we'll go ahead and connect it up. And while we're at it, we'll install the camera just to make sure everything's working. We'll reconnect all the power, or we'll reconnect all of the cables, plug it into power, and turn on the phone. Now when we go into the measurement rangefinder app, we're going to be able to see if the functions properly work. So here, let's grab a couple things to measure. So here's the shield from the camera, and let's just grab a screwdriver, and let's find a, a reference point to measure from, and see if it's working properly. Tells us we need to move further back. Let's get this in camera. But as you can see, it's now measuring the distance properly from our reference point. The repairs are complete. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And we'll see you in the next video.